So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans more specifically. We're going to be looking at your Guardian Games armor set. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the shader video for the Guardian Games armor. It's right here. You guys can check it out. And we also already did the Hunter video, which is right here as well. Uh, so for those of you who are new, we're basically going to get individual pieces from the Guardian Games 2024 armor set and then making individual sets from those pieces. We're going to be doing four sets for this video. That's how we usually do it. The Hunter one was a little bit of an anomaly, but usually it's only four sets, which means that we combine two pieces from one set and then the other ones get one, one piece. But remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content, because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet and this one obviously is very lion themed as the hunters got their whole like viper look i ended up going and leaning really hard into the lion aspect of the titans so for the helmet lions might helm for the arms imperian Cartog cartographer gauntlets for the chest piece nemean plate and then for the mark lion's mark for the boots we're using the mark 44 standicides and yeah, I think the set looks pretty cool. I honestly would never tell people to use the Imper Imperium Cartographer Gauntlets for the Titans just because the claws on the arms are really annoying. They do show up when you're in game, which is very unfortunate because it looks very, very terrible. But I mean, if you like it, more power to you. The shadering is Spark with Joy, which the only reason I'm using this is because it combines the shoulder pads into one color. And I thought, oh, I never use pink. Might as well use some pink. But if you guys don't like the pink, the pink, you guys can definitely use other shaders that combines both of the pauldrons into one color because that is the biggest problem with Imperial Cartographer aside from the claws. The both shoulder pads change different colors. So that is really, really annoying. But other than that, I think this set looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using the arms. And this one, we're going to be utilizing the Severance Enclosure Exotic. So for the helmet, Survival of the Strong Helm. For the arms, Lion's Might Gauntlets. For the boots, Wild Wood Greaves. And then for the mark, Kogan Beat Mark. For the shadering, we're gonna be using Erebus Glance for everything aside from the mark because the mark turns it orange and I didn't want any orange in here aside from the glow. So honestly, this one is just kind of a, I thought a lot of these pieces looked cool together. The reason we're using Survival of the Strong Helm is because I wanted more glow in there. And I didn't want to have the boots have a glow because the Kogan beat mark would cover pretty much half, half of one side. And the reason Severance Enclosure came to mind is because I think it looks really good with the Lion's Mark gauntlets or Lion's Might gauntlets, I should say. Uh, if you guys didn't see the review video for the armor, I explained that I think the arms are really terrible. And yeah, they're it's really hard to combine it with certain pieces. This one is pretty cool. Another one would probably be the N7 armor that we got from the Mass Effect collab. I think that one would be really cool with it. It's just the fact that the pads just look weird on certain armor sets. So just be aware of that. As for the next set, we're gonna be utilizing the Dune Marchers with the Hip Waiter ornament. And then for this one, the chest piece is what we're gonna be using. So for the helmet, Snow Plume Helm, for the arms, Lycan Gauntlets, for the chest piece, Lion's Might Plate, and then for the mark, the N7 mark. So this one's pretty cool because I leaned into the shade or the glow of the, the chest piece. So this one's really interesting because I ended up leaning into the glow for this one, which if you guys haven't seen, the chest piece has a glow, the boots have glows, the fucking mark has a glow, technically the helmet has a glow, like the only thing that doesn't have a glow is the arms, but the reason I use the arms is because there's fur on the chest piece and I wanted a little bit more fur on the arms. There are other fur pieces that I could use, but I feel like the Light King Gauntlets just looked way better because they're skinnier. And I tried to use the other ones, but they were just a little bit too fat for my liking. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely like this set a lot. I would probably have this in the back of my pocket for my Dune Marchers. But I've done so many good Dune Marcher looks that I don't think I would choose this over the other ones that I've gotten. And then last but not least, we are going to be using the boots for this one. And for the exotic, we're actually going to be using the armamentarium with the secondary energy ornament on it. So for the helmet, Kogan Beat Helm is what we're using. The N7 gauntlets for the arms, the Lion's Might Greaves for the boots, and then the Moonfang X7 mark. So this one is like the other one where I'm just leaning into that glow a lot. That being said, I think this one is way better, but it's also the most problematic, unfortunately. Uh, let's talk about it. So the N7 Gauntlets and the Lion's Might Greaves, 
are going to be the most problematic pieces from this because the shoulder pads shader really really terribly and the boots specifically the hip armor not hip armor but the thigh armor uh takes off colors so that's why i ended up going with gambit jade stone because if i remember correctly the off coloring is either a green or a black which goes really well with what we're wearing already so that's why i ended up going with that color for everything else honestly it was just either rule of cool or it had a glow specifically the kogan beat helm has a glow the moonfang x7 mark looks really really cool and that's really it there's nothing more to explain this one was just like i want to lean into some glows and i really like the idea of the n7 gauntlets glowing with this one just because it'll it'll look really cool just like as a pose like when you're getting ready to punch someone just the fact that the like multi-tool is going to be glowing there as well it's just really really cool so titans let me know what you guys think i definitely think you guys got some cool pieces um it's just the fact that like you're just going to be annoying to you sometimes so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys remember i am going to be posting not less content but the content's going to be taking a little bit longer i guess it's going to be less content in the in the long run but uh yeah i once I get my hands into or once I get into the flow of my new job and my current job, like how the scheduling is going to work, then I'll see if like I can like start pushing myself a little bit more because the first job, which is uh, Vans, that one I only get four hours a week. So or I should be getting either four to eight hours a week. The new job is going to be like 20, 26 hours a week, if I remember correctly. So I will still have time when I come back from work or before I go to work. It's more of a like, do I want to spend that time working on videos or do I want to spend my, my time just playing video games and relaxing? That's kind of be the biggest thing for me. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.